We are continuing to follow the latest on that barricade situation in the Forest Brook area. We're glad you're with us at 7 o'clock. I'm Eric Weisfeld. And I'm Rachel Bogle. We know a person has been detained after a standoff, but now we're also hearing from a neighbor who tells us they saw it all play out. Our Julia Richardson's been at the scene for us for several hours now and joins us live with details on what led to that situation. But first, Julia, what's that neighbor telling you? Yeah, Eric and Rachel, well, as you said, we do know a person has been detained after a barricade situation on Summit Trail, which is just down the road from where I am standing right now. Neighbors did tell me that they started seeing law enforcement here at around 2 p.m. and they just cleared out a little over an hour ago. Now we do know that this all started when the sheriff's office arrived at that home on Summit Trail to serve papers, but there's no word yet on exactly what those documents were. Police did evacuate neighbors earlier out of an abundance of caution, but people are now cleared to return home now that that person is in custody. I did speak with one neighbor who lives close by to the incident and said law enforcement were partially set up in his backyard. There was 37 police cars. If you count the trucks, 37. I was nervous at first for a couple of minutes, but you know, the more and more that they showed up and they were like not rushing anything, they were all calm and cordial and polite. Like I knew that they were doing the right thing. Now we don't have any word yet on the name or the the charges of the person detained. As soon as we find out that information, we will be sure to let you know both on air and online. Live in Forestbrook, Julia Richardson, WMBF News.